more political reactions coming in let's cross live above board completely fair and transparent special court has now taken a view as part of an ongoing judicial process dr manmohan singh has always stood for a transparent scrutiny process on all such issues we are confident that an on an examination of full facts it will be it will unequivocally establish the fairness transparency integrity with which 15% share in talavera 2 and 3 coal block was allotted to hindalco to put it very briefly in hindi desh ke pura pradhan mantri aur congress ke shirshtam netritav mein se ek डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह जी की ईमानदारी निष्पक्षता व पारदर्शिता जग जाहिर है इसके बा, इसके बारे में पूरा देश और पूरा पूरा विश्व जानता है तालाबीरा टू और तीन दो और तीन कॉल ब्लॉक जो उड़ीसा में स्थित है उसमें हिंडेल को कंपनी को 15 प्रतिशत हिस्सा देने के बारे तत्कालीन कोल सचिव श्री पीसी पारिश की सिफारिश व तत्कालीन कोल मंत्री और प्रधानमंत्री डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह जी के अनुमोदन बारे सीबीआई यानी केंद्रीय जांच ब्यूरो द्वारा व्यापक जांच एक से अधिक बार की जा चुकी है और इस पूरी प्रक्रिया को स्पष्ट साफ और पारदर्शी पाया गया है अदालत ने न्यायिक प्रक्रिया में प्रथम दृष्टि समन्स जारी किए देश के पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह जी इन सब मामलों में पारदर्शी तरीके से निगरानी के पक्षधर रहे हैं भारतीय राष्ट्रीय कांग्रेस को संपूर्ण विश्वास एवं यकीन है कि पूरे तथ्यों के अवलोकन पर हिंडालको को तालीबेरा दो और तीन कॉल ब्लॉक्स के पंद्रह प्रतिशत हिस्से के आपटन में पूरी स्पष्टता पारदर्शिता और साफ गोई साबित हो जाएगी वी ऑल्सो कंडेम भारतीय जनता पार्टी फॉर इट्स पुअर अटेम्प्ट टू पॉलिटिसाइज एन ऑन गोइंग जुडिशियल प्रोसेस हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी की कड़े शब्दों में भर्सना करते हैं कि वो एक चलती हुई न्यायिक प्रक्रिया में झूठे इल्जाम लगाकर पूरे मामले को धूमिल करने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं ताकि मौजूदा राजनीतिक परिस्थिति जिसमें भारतीय जनता पार्टी देश के बहुमत के ऊपर एक काला कानून थोपने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं भूमि अधिग्रहण अधिनियम की कोशिश से उससे देश का ध्यान बांटा जा सके फ्रेंड्स आई विल ऑल्सो लाइक टू वेरी ब्रीफली since they are related facts and i'm sure you would like to know also point out four or five further facts in this connection between 1993 and 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एलोकेटेड 206 ब्लॉक्स उन्नीस से 2011 के बीच में भारत सरकार द्वारा 206 कोल ब्लॉक्स दिए गए आउट ऑफ दीज 41 ब्लॉक्स वर एलोकेटेड बाय एन डी ए गवर्नमेंट हंड्रेड कोल ब्लॉक्स वर एलोकेटेड बिटवीन 2004 थाउजेंड एंड टू ड्यूरिंग यूपीए टेन्यो For the first time, the, this policy continued through the tenure of Congress government in 91 to 96, through the tenure when Shri Deve Gowda and uh, other honourable persons were, I will need not name them at this juncture, were prime ministers and different parties governments were uh, were uh, ruling the country. and during the entire tenure of nda when vajpayee ji was prime minister for the first time in 2005 it is honorable dr manmohan singh who initiated who changed the policy of allocation through a steering committee by bringing in a process of advertisement where each coal block he tapered the policy where each coal block was advertised and then various stakeholders could apply to the steering committee this was done for the first time by him <coughs> it was the upa government headed by then dr manmohan singh and dr manmohan singh himself who on 25th of july 2005 and this date is important called a meeting in prime minister's office of all stakeholders including all state governments where coal and lignite and other such minerals are found for changing from allocation by steering committee to an auction process i repeat for changing the procedure from allocation by steering committee to the process of auction he called a meeting on 25th july unfortunately since the mines and mineral development act requires consent of the respective state governments since they are equivalent stakeholders it was opposed the conversion from allocation through steering committee to auction process was opposed by the bjp governments and i am giving you dates of the respective state governments CM Rajasthan opposed it on 11th April 2005 Miss Vasundhara Rajay Sindhya was then the chief minister October 11th April 2005 Chhattisgarh government opposed it through their written communication dated 28th March 2005 Odisha government opposed the auction process through their written communication dated 25th july 2005 west bengal government opposed it through their communication dated 31st march 2005 <coughs> and jharkhand government similarly opposed it through a written communication to government of india and to prime minister this date i currently don't have but i have these letters which we can later on pass on to you i have letters from all the state governments also with me despite this dr manmohan singh and the upa government persuaded all the stakeholders through a broad process of consultation and fructified what is now known as coal block auction process by amending the law and i want to draw your attention to the amendment introduced by upa government headed by dr banmohan singh on 2nd february 2012 i repeat 2nd february 2012 we proceeded to amend the mines and minerals 
Development Regulations 1957 added uh, Regulation 3 and 5 and I'll just read a line of Regulation 3. It says procedure for allocation of area containing coal through auction by competitive bidding. The central government shall identify areas containing coal for auction for allocation through auction by competitive bidding and then everything else is provided i we can give you copies if you want so the entire process for conversion from steering committee through applications which were through a unorganized process to a advertised process was changed by Dr. Manmohan Singh in 2005. In 2005 itself, Dr. Manmohan Singh as Prime Minister and UPA government being in power, intended to change this process to competitive bidding. This process was opposed by the other stakeholders which were state governments. Those stakeholders were then the opposition including BJP governments. Elaborate discussion and persuasion was held and then in 2012 February through a statutory notification regulations were amended by Dr. Manmohan Singh and the competitive bidding was initiated. The auction process and the bidding process that you see today is the result of the policy initiated by Dr. Manmohan Singh. Sanshipt mein agar mein ye Hindi mein kahun, to 2005 mein pahli baar UPA Congress ki sarkar mein Dr. Manmohan Singh ji ke netritav mein 1993 ki niti ko pahli baar badal kar coal block allotment ki prakriya ko एडवर्टीजमेंट के माध्यम से बदला गया 